Hello everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. And I'm Graham. And we are going to talk about Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Oh. Because we saw that at the cinema. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did, we did. We both did. Yeah. Tell us the story quickly. So there's an alternate Britain somewhere in the universe and... Well, you uh, could say that about any zombie film. And uh, it's set in like the uh, like the Victorian age. It's a remake of Pride and Prejudice but with zombies... Oh yeah, that effectively. pretty much. Yeah, but if you it. haven't seen, if well, you I haven't, haven't seen, seen Pride and Prejudice, so or read, would that to be explain a bit anything? To yeah, you? it gives you the gist, doesn't it? It's all I'd have needed to know, but, and I've not seen it. Yeah, but the, you do read know the about you do know about it though. Is the point? No, I don't actually know what it's about. No, my first, ex- you know, the high class sort of world that I live in. My first exposure to Jane Austen was through Pride <laughs> and Prejudice and Zombies. <laughs> I've never read anything by her or seen anything by her. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so it was all right, right? I was okay. It's all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all. I went in with low expectations, and they weren't met. You know, <laughs> as in the, the as in I it enjoyed exceeded it. Exceeded your low expectations. Not in a bad way. It exceeded your low expectations. But to say that might seem like it was worse than I thought it was going to be. No, it isn't. Well, what I'm saying is factual, 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 factually correct. It okay, exceeded well, that, then... your low expectations were here, uh-huh. but the film exceeded it. It was above your low expectations. Yeah. That's not to say it was good. I have a very but... negative outlook on life, though, so if you say it exceeded your sh- your sh- already shitty expectations, <laughs> I would think, well, it must have been really shitty then. Mm. You see? Like, I've turned the thermometer upside I see. down. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Anyway, so yeah, it was better than I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't mean it was necessarily good, but it wasn't awful. It, it was watchable. Yeah. I didn't feel like I'd just... lost 90 minutes of my life unnecessarily, but nor do I feel I ever want to lose that 90 minutes again. Yeah. Yeah. It should have been a, a TV movie. Because I'd have never watched it then. Uh, uh I guess so. I, I guess I'm not going to disagree. Why? What didn't you like about it? It was alright. It just felt a bit Well, what didn't flat? you like? It was just... Flat uh... in what sense? <laughs> it just... I mean, the, just the story was so thin and stuff like that. What, Jane Austen? Which is fine, but it's just... <laughs> Bloody amateurs. I know. Um, no Shakespeare, this uh, Jane Austen. <laughs> no, she's Jane Austen. <laughs> it's not that, it's just, yeah, it's just, it wasn't, I mean, I've read some reviews and stuff like that, user reviews, not not actual critic reviews and stuff, where they're saying like, oh, they've made Jane Austen, you know, they, they, they've merged Jane, Jane Austen, Austen and zombies very well and mm. stuff like that. But it's just, I, I, it's I like, can't say because I'm not, like I say, I don't know about the original particularly, so I don't know what they've made up and what they didn't make up. I, I I'm presuming the zombies were the made up bit. I think so. I assume, I assume it's not originally Prejudice and Zombies. <laughs> yeah. They've added some pride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was okay. Matt Smith was good. It was a much thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the reason why you'd watch it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, we we'll watch it again. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, he was very camp and hilarious as a result. He is exactly how the rest of the film should have been. I mean, we discussed this after, just after we watched yeah, it. But, how um, good he was just showed up how bad <clears> the rest <throat> of the film was. Yeah. Sam Riley played... Uh, what's his Sam name? Riley? The guy that played what's his name, uh, Mr. Darcy. Darcy yeah, 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 he was a uh, awful charisma, charisma vacuum. Yeah, as charismatic as a walnut up a cow's ass. That's what I could think of off the top of my head. Is that charismatic? Well, I mean, no. Good. That's what I was getting <laughs> for. Uh, he was like Pete Doherty if he'd been dubbed by John Hurt. That's a prepared statement. Yeah, <laughs> prepared yeah. joke. Uh, Are you prepared, Elliot. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, I, you know, unlike you, I don't bone off the BBC original, so I'm not like, oh, you know, Colin Firth. It's the only one I've seen, and I know it was very good, yeah, but so no, I'm you not did boning off it. No, you were boning off it. It's really good, yeah. It's really You've watchable. You've said that quite a lot And it's to me. interesting. Yeah, only in relation to this film. No, but you oh my did God. Say it. You didn't say it in passing. <laughs> I'm not just sitting there with a little flag going, yeah, the BBC version you basically of what, you, you didn't say it and then let that lie. You said that and then hammered and hammered and hammered to make sure it was in. Pride and Prejudice is really good, Darren. Pride and Prejudice is really good. Oh, we really love Pride and Prejudice. In the same Mr. conversation? Mr. Darcy is so sexy. Oh, Yo, my... Mr. Darcy. That's what you said. Did I? You did seem to like Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy. He's you know? very good, mm. to be fair. He plays it well. And this is the thing, even though Mr. Darcy in the first one is just as just as kind of bland, if you like, as this one, he's still got the charisma and that kind of, he's got that broodiness. He's got, you know, he's kind of mm. skulking around. And what stuff. do you think that's a... Of course, how do you think he's got that? What's he got that Sam Riley doesn't? <laughs> um, uh, acting chops, I think. Oh, is no, Sam Riley is supposed to be very good in a film it's called Control. Well, I haven't supposed seen it, but based on all the reviews, I'm going to take the word that he's very good in it. Did you think he did a good job of I mean, I didn't you know, hate he him. played his part. I think that everyone was a bit, well, Matt uh, Smith was a bit rubbish. Right, the main so, woman let's was... put it down to the director then instead of the kid because. Well, he's not a kid. He's probably younger than me. That may be true, he's in his 30s. <laughs> um. 
No, oh. I thought the main woman was boring as fuck. I thought she was even more boring than him. Ah, oh, she was the most interesting part of Adam, apart from Matt, Matt Smith. Smith. Other than Matt and Smith. And Lena Headley. Or Hedy. Even she was completely unused. And even Charles Dancing is... She know, didn't even swing a sword. No, she didn't even swing a sword. She once. did. She had a sword fight with the main actress. Did she? Yeah. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She got her bloody bodyguard to fight her. And then she had to go. Did she? Because she ended up with both swords. Oh. No, that was only at the very end of that. To, to... Did it happen, though? Oh, my God. Uh, you call... oh, that's not sword play. What sword play, mister? I'm a fucking expert. Old Errol Flynn on the steps here. Go on. What's what, what sword play, Bob Anderson, the man who played Darth Vader? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Not worth Correct. it. Not worth it. Uh, Literally not. Yeah, worth no, it. I thought that she kind of reminded me of Gemma Arterton. You know, Gemma Arterton. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know her. Am I just the monkey you wheel out to talk to on these things? Sometimes. Yes, I know Jarma. Well, Jarma. <laughs> yes, I know Jarma. <laughs> Jemima Arterton. Uh, she ri- she reminded Arterton. me of Gemma Arterton if Gemma Arterton had been lobotomized. So. She was fine. What's wrong with. Jane Lowe, what's her name? Lily James. Lily James. Uh, she was just a bit boring. She was just a bit charisma free. Uh, mm. Yeah, and so, I mean, the same could be said for everyone, but she was the main character. Everyone except Matt Smith and, uh, I mean, Lena Headey just played her usual warrior woman self. Didn't get her tits out this time. Yeah. I mean, that was her, that was her uh, character development from a previous, <laughs> every other character she's played. Yeah. Lena Headey played the same character as she usually does. No, she didn't, didn't get her tits out. <laughs> Completely <Yeah>. different. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, have you got anything else to say about this? No. No. All right. Then. I think there was not enough zombies. Sounds stupid. Sorry. What? Sorry. Not enough zombies. Oh right. Uh, Should have been more zombies. Instead of like trying to kind of stick to like so closely to the yeah. source material, they should have just added more like zombie fights. And there was stuff. a bunch of shit in there regarding the zombies that went literally <clears> nowhere, like the whole four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the end of the world, and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, just didn't. Just got mentioned, and that was the end of it. Maybe they were just four. Maybe they were just four, four blokes. Paul there is. This is a bit where she saw four blokes and thought they were the four horsemen of the apocalypse, sort but of. They looked exactly like them. And well, I one guess had a golden on mask them. and turned his neck on his, you know, like poltergeist. Well, they can't uh, possibly have been a human who's bought a golden mask and. And has no spine. Are you telling me that it's physically. <laughs> 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 that it's impossible that somebody could have been born with a defect that they could turn their head 180 degrees? Hmm? This is like hanging out with somebody who doesn't let things go and just. It's exactly what it into is. the ground. Yes, like you about fucking Pride and Prejudice on the BBC. I know. <laughs> it's worth watching though. Go I know it, it is. Go you keep it. telling me. Yeah. I'm almost not going to do it just to spite you. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you out on your own part. Yeah, and there was sort of like no consistency between like the zombies could talk sometimes or set traps or be rational, but then other times they were just sort of... No, did you not follow the storyline? They were eating pigs, blood and brains and did stuff. Did you not follow the storyline? No, they weren't. Yeah, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. They were eating soldiers' blood and soldiers' brains. No, they weren't. Point of blood. Yes, they were. Which ones are you talking about? The ones in the church. Yeah. They were eating actual people. In the end. And that's why they were No, all bad. along he was tricking her. It's a trick. No. They were eating pigs. Hon- that's why, why, would he, were... why would he? Why would he? Go on. Honestly, I, I've actually written a story like this myself. <laughs> <laughs> like Jane Austen's. <laughs> yeah. But it's it, Was it specifically that... about the character of Mr. Darcy as played by Colin Firth? And... It was... <laughs> And what he might do in a church. That's played by me. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's it's the fact that the zombies... I don't need... Do we need to hear your story? No, I'm not. I'm talking about this. Oh, okay, go on. I'm, to, I'm saying the zombies ate the pig... They, it was in the story, it was in the film. They ate the pig's brains, and that keeps them kind of satiated and, and almost... I'm pretty sure he was... Almost I, intellectual. My, I thought that he was lying about that because he was a baddie all along. No. And he was just trying... That's not what happened. Darcy... Right. Darcy... No, I know Darcy. ...foiled him and... And put human blood so and, if the bo- pigs, and brains. If the pig's blood and brains are already working, why move on to the human stuff? No, it was a, no. It, oh my god! It why were the soldiers? Did you not follow it? Did you not? Obviously watch it? not. Why were the soldiers missing their brains? Darcy wanted to pull one over. Uh, what's his name? The other guy, yeah, yeah. who who's always had an, uh, you know, Houston. and Jack Houston, whatever his name was, and because he was lying about the, you know, his family and stuff, and he, yeah. he asked for all the money. And right. Was, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry. He's been so. And then Darcy discovers that he's been breeding this bloody underground army of zombies yeah. to take over okay, London yeah. with intellect. So far, so get to the soldiers. So Darcy decides to wreck his plans by feeding the zombies. Where the fuck did Darcy do that? Because then they wouldn't get overrun by the evil zombies. So why was he giving them pig's blood? 
To keep them smart So and Darcy calm. decided to then make them all agitated? Yes. Well, that fucking worked out for him, didn't it? Well, it did. Be- well, well, it didn't. It did, because it what means that... be twat. It did, because it meant that they could go and just kill them all instead of they killing didn't. sentient things. Uh, you know, with a with a with a, right. a kind of a way out sort of thing. Do you know who uh, they just wanted to get rid of the zombies? Right. So they right, killed thank them. you for clarifying because I'm never going to watch it again to have it clarified myself. I think I'm right. Uh, Let's hope you're not because that means I'm right. Um, <laughs> do you know who Jack Houston is related to? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> uh, Angelica Houston and Danny Houston and John Houston. That makes sense. Bye. The Houston family. The Houston dynasty. <laughs>